Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about something that can make or break the course of your life trust. But not just any kind of trust. I'm talking about the trust you place in yourself. The trust that, deep down, you know you have everything within you to create the life you dream of. The trust that says, I am enough. I am capable. I will make it. You see, trusting in yourself is not just important it's everything. When you begin to trust in yourself, truly and completely, something amazing happens. The world begins to respond. People start to notice your confidence, your clarity, your conviction, and slowly, over time, they start to trust in you too. But it doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, a process, a constant commitment to believing in your own potential. So, let's talk about what it means to trust in yourself, and how to cultivate that unshakable trust from within. The Foundation of Self-Trust Trusting in yourself is not just about confidence. It's about knowing, deep within, that you have the ability to figure things out, no matter what life throws at you. It's about believing that even if you don't know the way right now, you will find it. It's about trusting your instincts, your decisions, your inner compass, even when the path ahead seems unclear. Let me ask you a question. Do you trust yourself, truly? When the chips are down, when things get tough, when the road is bumpy and uncertain do you trust that you have what it takes to keep going? Or do you question yourself? Do you second guess every decision, every move, every thought? Because here's the thing, self-doubt will kill your dreams faster than any external force ever could. It's the voice that says, what if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if they're right and I'm wrong? And that voice of doubts, it can be loud. It can be overwhelming. But you have to find a way to silence it. You have to find a way to rise above it. Self-trust is earned. Self-trust doesn't come automatically. It's something you have to earn with yourself. And how do you earn it? By keeping promises to yourself. By setting goals and following through no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. Every time you tell yourself you're going to do something and you actually do it, you're building that trust. You're proving to yourself that you're reliable, capable, and worthy of your own belief. Think about it like this. When you're in a relationship with someone, trust is built over time. It's built through actions, through consistency, through showing up, time and time again. The same is true for your relationship with yourself. If you constantly break your promises to yourself, if you constantly let yourself down, it's no wonder you struggle to trust in your own abilities. But the good news is, you can start building that trust right now. You can start small. Set a goal for yourself today, something achievable. Maybe it's going for a run writing a chapter of your book, or reaching out to someone you've been avoiding. Whatever it is, commit to it. And then, most importantly, do it. The more you show up for yourself, the more you trust in your ability to follow through. And that trust, it compounds over time. Trust yourself in the face of doubt. Here's something important. The world will doubt you. People will question your decisions. They will tell you that you're wrong, that you're dreaming too big, that you're not ready. They will project their own fears and insecurities onto you, hoping you'll play small, hoping you'll stay within the box they've built for you. But in those moments, you have to ask yourself, who do I trust more? The world or myself? Whose voice am I going to listen to? The voice that says I'm not enough. Or the voice inside me that knows I'm capable of far more than they could ever imagine. 
The truth is, the only opinion that truly matters is your own. And that's not easy to accept. We live in a world that thrives on external validation. We're constantly seeking approval from others, whether it's through social media, our peers, or our colleagues. But here's the thing. No amount of external approval will ever be enough if you don't trust yourself first. You have to believe that you are worthy, that you are enough, without needing anyone else to confirm it. And when you do that, when you trust in your own abilities, in your own path, the world will start to trust in you too. People will sense your confidence, your conviction, and they will begin to believe in you. But it starts with you turning doubters into believers. Here's the powerful truth. People are drawn to those who trust themselves. It's magnetic. It's contagious. When you walk into a room with a quiet, unshakable belief in who you are and what you bring to the table, people notice. They may not say it out loud, but they're watching. They're paying attention. And slowly, over time, they start to trust you too. But you have to be patient. You have to understand that trust, whether it's self-trust or trust from others, is not something that happens overnight. It's something that is built brick by brick, action by action. And there will be moments of doubt, moments where you wonder if it's worth it. Moments where you feel like no one sees you, no one believes in what you're doing. But in those moments, you have to hold on to that inner trust, that quiet confidence that says, keep going. They'll see it soon enough. And when they do, when they finally start to trust in you, it won't be because you demanded it. It won't be because you sought their approval. It will be because you showed them. You showed them through your actions, your persistence, your dedication, that you are someone who can be trusted. You are someone who follows through. Someone who doesn't waver in the face of adversity. The cost of not trusting yourself. Now, let me ask you another question. What happens if you don't trust yourself? What happens if you constantly doubt your own decisions? If you let fear and insecurity dictate your path? The cost is enormous. When you don't trust yourself, you live in a constant state of hesitation. You're always second-guessing, always wondering, what if I'm wrong? And that hesitation, it will paralyze you. It will keep you stuck in a cycle of inaction, of missed opportunities, of dreams deferred. You'll spend your life waiting for someone else to tell you it's okay to move forward, instead of forging your own path. But when you trust yourself, when you make decisions with confidence, you move differently. You take risks. You put yourself out there, knowing that even if you fail, you'll learn, you'll grow, and you'll keep moving forward. Trust in yourself is what gives you the courage to chase your dreams, even when the road is uncertain. How to strengthen your self-trust. So how do you strengthen that trust in yourself? How do you cultivate that inner belief that says, I've got this? 1. Keep your promises to yourself. Start small, but be consistent. Set goals and follow through, no matter how difficult it gets. 2. Embrace failure. Trust is built through experience, and that includes failure. Every time you fail, you learn. And every time you learn, you grow. Trust that you have the resilience to bounce back. 3. Quiet the noise. The world is full of opinions, but not all of them are meant for you. Learn to filter out the noise and focus on your own inner voice. 4. Celebrate your wins. Every time you achieve something, no matter how small, acknowledge it. Build your confidence by recognizing your progress. 5. Take responsibility. Trust yourself enough to take ownership of your life. 
Don't wait for someone else to lead you. You are your own guide. Trust yourself, and they will follow. Ladies and gentlemen, the path to success is not easy. It's filled with challenges, doubts, and setbacks. But if you can trust in yourself, if you can trust in your ability to figure things out, to keep moving forward, to rise every time you fall, there is nothing you can't achieve. And when you do that, when you cultivate that unshakable self-trust, people will begin to follow. They will see your confidence, your courage, and they will trust in you too. But it starts with you. Trust in yourself until they start trusting in you.